As of September 10th, 2024, this channel is officially 10 years old. Nice. That is something special, because I basically started making videos on here when I was like the age of Ryan Toys Reviews, but without the Asian parents exploiting me for monetization. Since then, as I've grown from a wee lad, this channel has kind of just always been there for me to post on, and it's been interesting to just look back at that and- A new wood. <laughs> It is interesting, to say the least, to have this as an option, uh, or as a experience, I guess, to have put so much time into something as inconsistent, I guess, as YouTube at such a young age has been really... It's been something I'm not sure a lot of people can say that they've done, which I feel like is definitely a good thing and very much a bad thing, because the internet is terrible. I've been, I've been ruined. There will be swearing in some of my videos from now on. It's been... it's been a privilege, to say the least. Hooray for being born in a first world country! Yay! I mean, I don't know if I'm operating off the sunk cost fallacy at this point or what. I might be running off of steam and unfulfilled potential, but you know what, we're still making it work anyway. Alright, let's just get into it. Some... some life lessons that I've learned from doing YouTube for 10 years. First of all, it's not ever too late to start doing what you want to do or making changes to yourself for the better, be it like eating healthier or specifically in the case of YouTube, starting making videos and seeing where it goes for the sheer art of it. You know, you can always make a video and you know what, maybe it'll pop off, maybe not, probably not. It takes a lot of perseverance to go anywhere on YouTube, but ultimately, it's never too late to give it a try, because who knows, maybe this will actually be your only opportunity to make the thing that you want to make. There's this quote by the Roman philosopher Seneca, and I think it's something that everyone can take to heart. Why do you postpone yourself? What is it in your life that prevents you from becoming the highest version of yourself, from really just doing what you want to do and living your best possible life. Not irresponsibly, where you're going to go and become a some party animal or whatever, but truly focusing and bettering yourself. And I think this is a very, very interesting question and a phenomenal one to take to heart and really just think about in your life, right? Like, maybe you need physical resources, right? Like, maybe you need money, so you have to work a job that you really don't like, right? But, I mean, at the same time, you should... You should at least keep the door open to look for other career opportunities or something. You're, you're not finished yet, you're still on this earth for a reason. So why not just leave the door open and maybe pursue it as like a part-time thing, bro, whatever it might want to be. Maybe, maybe you want to go camping or make music or something. Do it like if you get a day off or something and try it and... And if it doesn't go anywhere, then at least you gave it a shot. Also, quick side note, you really don't have to, like, dedicate a whole day to learning how to make music or how to make YouTube videos. You can do it over time gradually. Spend one day researching what program you want to use, and then spend the next day, you know, dabbling in all that and figuring out how to use your program. It is a gradual thing and a skill that you need to build up, and that goes for most creative outlets. But regardless, leave the door open and take the first step in not postponing yourself. Because life is a climb and not a race, but obviously if you start doing stuff, say right now in 10 years, you'll be better at it and you'll have snowballed any possible potential into reality at that point. But obviously starting new things can be very hard, so let's talk about YouTube for a minute. I saw this video the other day by this very small channel. It was titled something along the lines of, If This Channel Gets Found. And this dude spent four years in college just grinding out on this channel and putting his all into it, putting his best foot forward and trying to make something out of his hobby. But ultimately, he never ended up iterating or anything like that, and he just kept trying to pump out, like, Vanoss Gaming-style videos that were just, like, you know, him and his friend group playing games. And that's perfectly fine. Sometimes that'll work, sometimes it won't. But it wasn't working for him. The style of videos that he was producing... It just wasn't working for him, unfortunately. But anyway, he never tried to iterate or branch out or anything, because, yeah, I mean, it might be what you like doing right now, but think about it. You've only tried one thing, right, when it comes to YouTube. Whenever you start, you're only going to be trying a handful of things. There's so many different types of videos, so many different communities, so much everything out there online that you could pitch into, and maybe you'll end up taking off from one of those communities and you can branch out from there. But to just sit there and keep bashing your head against the wall trying to do the same thing, expecting growth, 
There's a quote from Far Cry 3, I'm sure all of you have heard of it. The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting something different. This guy just didn't iterate, and finally he posts this video called If This Channel Gets Found, which, guess what, is completely different from what he was doing before. By all means, it is an iteration. And all of a sudden, it's the first video that he has that not only breaks 1,000 views, a day or two goes by, and now he's at 105,000 views. So, yeah, by all means, success comes from iteration. If you keep doing the same thing that you always did, you're gonna get the same thing that you always got. Boom. That's a quote from God knows who put it up on screen right now. Like, you gotta look at even just something like YouTube as something like engineering, alright? And that might sound dumb at first, but, dude, think about it. You gotta know, like... I don't know, geometry and stuff if you want to be an engineer, right? When it comes to YouTube, you gotta know, you know, what people are watching at any given time, what your specific community that you're trying to branch out into is looking for. You gotta know what thumbnails do well, you gotta know what titles do well, you gotta know, alright, how am I gonna make these first 20 seconds of this video very engaging, you gotta know what length is good, and you gotta know what length for a video is good, because this guy was posting like hour-long videos and they just weren't going anyway. And I'm talking about this like I've actually seen success on this platform, but regardless, this brings me to the next uh, topic that I want to discuss. Being landing the plane, alright? Perhaps the hardest part of doing anything is getting started on that thing. Finding passion and finding a reason to continue doing something. Now here's the thing. Starting is obviously always going to be the hardest part, but one of the other hardest things in, for example, YouTube, is figuring out where you want to stop, alright? Not maybe abandoning a YouTube channel or whatever. I'm not, I'm not leaving this channel in the dust just yet, alright? But regardless, if you want to make a video or something and you put all of your time and stuff into it, you gotta understand the scope of what you're getting into because I've had times where I'm editing a video and I just want to keep going on and on and on in the researching phase and then I finally get down to editing it and it's like, dude, this video is gonna be like an hour long, what am I doing? And that's why I, like, have had such an inconsistent upload schedule, right? But this, uh, this, this goes for other things, like in school, right? Teachers be like, make sure you don't, you know, go all into detail on, like, all of the individual conflicts in, like, World War II, because there's no way that you're gonna be able to, like, flesh that out or whatever in, like, a, in, like, a history class. Obviously, we've only got so much time and so much energy and so many resources that we can put into one thing. Eventually sunk cost fallacy starts to play in, alright, I've spent, let's say, the better half of a year or a year working on this one project, maybe it's a YouTube channel, or maybe it's building this community here, but ultimately, I've already put like half a year into it, and I'm not really seeing any rewards from it, I don't know, should I put this down, should I quit, should I call it quits, should I move on, because calling it quits is perhaps even harder than starting in some cases, and, you know, you just gotta know what you're getting into whenever you start something. Like, it could be, this could go for YouTube, or I'm sure this could be applicable for various different, like, job opportunities, or like, you know, going to get a degree in college or whatever. Um, and, I don't know, it's like, you gotta, you gotta make sure that you analyze what you're getting yourself into, because after a certain point, it can be hard to land that plane and just cut yourself off from, say, a community of friends that you built, or a, like, I, a, a, again, a YouTube channel, or something like that, that you've put so much time into, sunk cost fallacy comes knocking in, and it's like, it's like some gambler's fallacy kind of stuff, where it's like, if I just keep working, maybe, maybe we'll go, maybe we'll go somewhere, maybe, maybe we'll get right where we need to be, but, you know, nothing's, nothing's for certain. And that's, again, going back to that one small YouTube channel that I was talking about earlier. Um, that's something that I feel like this guy was going through. Like, he was just constantly trudging along, but he didn't really know what he was getting himself into, right? Like, he kept posting the same sort of stuff. He didn't realize what he was getting himself into. He didn't do the research into YouTube to fully understand what exactly makes what makes a channel grow. And even me, after doing this for, like, even, like, 10 years, I'm only now just starting to understand what truly you need to do to get a channel to grow and you know what let's let's talk about something specific now for content creators all right what you gotta do you've gotta find the next big thing you've gotta find a trend like day one and what you need to do is you need to figure out how to link that back into what you actually want to make videos on that's how you grow on this platform right now or you could obviously like talk about like some ongoing events on youtube because that 
you gotta leech clicks off of larger subjects ultimately as a small creator that's basically the only way that you can grow unfortunately and i i know that too too well to be frank all of my like biggest videos they were on something that I was super passionate about at the time, being like, making tutorials on stuff, and it happened to collaborate into like, the LEGO roleplay community that I was in before, right? The Roblox roleplaying community, which I had a lot of interest in at the time. It happened to align, and I was happy making those videos. A lot of people who start YouTube think that one video is all you need to go to the moon or something like that, but that's not how it is. What it is, is it is a... It's, it, it's a real grind, it really is. You have to find something, anything that you're passionate about, and then you have to start grinding at that, and eventually one of those videos will blow up. But what is equally as important is that backlog of videos that you've built up while trying to grind and uh, while trying to find that canary in the coal mine, if you will, right? Trying to find that one golden video that'll do very well, because people will see that video, and they'll check out the rest of your stuff, and if it's similar, then they'll keep watching, and that's how you grow uh, on this platform. And without without that backlog of stuff that people can watch, people will just move on to the next video and they're recommended. And that's just how, that's just how YouTube is, really. Going back to point four, which was know what you're getting into, Let's say you're making, like, videos on, like, Pokemon or something, right? You're obviously gonna get people watching those videos that like Pokemon, right? If you're making stuff on, like, true crime, people who like true crime are gonna come in there and they're gonna start watching you. And obviously that's how you grow, that's, like, self-explanatory. But also, like, even before you start making your first video, you gotta, you gotta figure out what type of people is this stuff gonna attract, right? Because, like... There's some weird communities out there, weird sub-communities that might latch onto your content. Maybe you really enjoy a fan base or whatever, but it's got a lot of, like, really young kids in it. Or, I don't know, maybe maybe it's got, like, a lot of really weird people in there, right? Like the My Little Pony community or something like that. You just gotta think, what's gonna happen if this video does well? What type of people are gonna watch me and be in my community? But, I mean, hey, stick, stick to making what you want to see, obviously. Like, if you're making stuff that you genuinely enjoy watching, then you're gonna attract other people like you who also like to see what you're putting out, obviously. But yeah, I mean, just, just know what you're getting into whenever you start, like, making videos on any given community. There's this very good video by Lucid on YouTube called Trapped in the TF2 Bubble. And it's about, like, Germa and RT Game and people like that that... We're stuck making YouTube videos for a while on Team Fortress 2 that, you know, they, 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 they built their fan bases in the TF2 community and eventually they all decided, hey, it's time to move on and find some better things. TF2 isn't going to live forever, right? Let's make this community my own and not just a subset of the TF2 community. And that's a very admirable thing. That's what I've been trying to do personally. And this video, I find it's a very cautionary tale and ultimately... Like, again, it, it it all goes back to know what you're getting yourself into before you fully commit to a project, or before you fully commit to, say, a line of work or something, if you're, again, going to get, like, a diploma in college or whatever. Obviously, okay, you don't need some random kid on the internet to tell you that, but just know what you're getting into before, before you fully go ahead and say, alright, let's do this. Going back to that other point that I made a while ago about life being a climb and not a race, and about most things in life being a climb and not a race, um, again, I've been posting videos on here for about 10 years now, alright, and just for reference, dude, my one good friend, Silver Garen, y'all might know him, I did a stream with him recently, it was good fun, but regardless, he's been here for like, what, a matter of, like, five months now? And he's already at, like, a thousand subscribers, alright? He's already on track to probably surpass me in, like, a year or two. Because he, he, he knows what he's getting himself into, and he has a plan, and he's moving forward at a rampant pace. He is locked in on making videos for y'all to enjoy. And that's... It, it, it just goes to emphasize, dude, like, yeah, you can get ahead of the game by ten years or whatever, but... If you're not, if you're not fully committed, if you don't know what you're getting yourself into, and if you're not ready to make a commitment like that, then, you know, it, 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 it doesn't really matter how much time you put into something. You're not going to excel in it unless you are ready to study much, it. In my free time, I've been playing Minecraft, and uh, since I'm playing Minecraft, uh, and I don't upload Minecraft, I haven't really been uploading that much, because I make videos in my free time, and most of my free time is going to Minecraft Factions at the moment. 
I've been rambling for about 15 minutes now, so let me leave it off on this note. If you have anything that you are passionate about in the world, alright, I don't care if that's like, I don't know, going and exploring somewhere, or whatever, or like, camping, alright, say, say you wanna, say you wanna go camping a lot, or say you want to make YouTube videos, something creative like that, go for it, man. But be ready, know what you're getting yourself into, and research, 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 and know what you have to do to excel. Because it's gonna take a long time to even know what you have to do to excel before you even start excelling. So the sooner that you start, the better rewards you're gonna reap in the end. So go for it, dude, whatever that may be. And yeah, that's, that's, that's my word of encouragement for the day. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And, yeah, cheers to everyone who's stuck around for the past 10 years, bro. There's not anyone who's actually stuck around for the past 10 years, but for the past, like, 5 or whatever, if, you, if you've been here since, like, the, the peak of the ATF era, bro, back in, like, 2020, yo, I appreciate you, man. And, um, yeah, it's, it's been a wild 10 years, and let's, let's see if we can make it last another 10, right? Probably not, unless we actually start popping off, but you know what, that that's up to me to do, bro, okay? I'm gonna have to excel and lock in now and study this shit, and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, as always, thanks for watching, and peace out, guys. Have a nice, uh, have, have, a, have a fantastic day, even. Peace out, bye!